Carlo Ocutis. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. One of the prayers that we use is the popular prayer to the guardian angels. God's love commits me here God to rule and guide. With fairies and other imaginary creatures, as truth, their existence was dogmatically declared by the Fourth Lateran Council in 1215, created by God. Beings who possess intelligence. Angels have been present since the creation and throughout the history of salvation, according to our catechism. Possible, but necessary that guardian angels should be considered best friends. Besides, the movements we make in life and the movements that God makes are often most powerfully told through the realm of the spiritual creatures of God. And when he of Easter is full of movement so that we can be motivated for motion before the onset of energy ready to move but after I have risen he said be Mary Magdalene and another Mary who would be charged with the responsibility to deliver that same instruction to the disciples. He is going before you to Galilee and there you will see him. Now I have told you. Who is this messenger? We are used to Christmas of course nativity plays, Christmas cards, angelic styled decorations atop our trees and garlanding our high streets. However, the presence of angels was key to the first proclamation What? as we cannot discount, we cannot remove angels from the Christmas events in Bethlehem. Likewise, angels to the witness of Christ's resurrection change the course of the history of the world forever. Now, at one level, it is astonishing actually. It's astonishing that no human being actually witnessed the moment of Jesus rising from the dead. His ministry and purposes were public and the character of his teaching was not hidden. Jesus was a highly visible public figure, which is precisely why he was considered so dangerous by religious authorities in Jerusalem. Encountering that awesome and unique resurrection event 
belonged only to angels. risen. Yet on another level it seems that the events of that Sunday morning are perfectly scripted because his inner entirely into resurrection. They needed to place their faith into the visible to be effective messengers. messengers of unfolding divine events and to communicate what God is doing. We should not, however, overlook the physical descriptions of these as mere mortals. Saint Luke of two angels on Easter morning, while St. Matthew includes how the Sanhedrin officers guarding the tomb were so seized with fear that they that the beginning of the angel's message is, do not be afraid. The important thing to identify from all four moment at the empty tomb between that unseen resurrection has happened. Jesus is not died to depart and human messengers to fulfill their new assignments. Only in St. John's Gospel and tell them two angels to Mary Magdalene woman Mary Magdalene go to my father and your father to my God and to your God women who had with the taking of Jesus to their futures had been extinguished the emptiness that these women must have carried with them was Suddenly, even Jesus is body. Everything was empty. Everything was void. Conception. Saint John of the Cross 
appreciated something of the ambiguous character of faith, summarizing the insights of this mystic as to what faith is, Rowan Williams wrote, you may not understand or have the words on the tip of your but you learn somehow of the other who does not change and who does not go away. You realize that when the signposts and landmarks have been taken away, there is a presence that does not let you. And that is faith, I would say, in a very deeply biblical sense. It was the sudden presence of the angels to the women that brought about the enduring sense of divine presence which dwells to this day, to this moment, in faith. Many of you will appreciate the profound that has removed Precisely because of the betrayal that had been bestowed upon them. Held captive within that betrayal for the rest of their lives. If they did not welcome the presence of angelic messengers. Why do you look for the Lord? He has risen. In St. Luke's version we find a group of women. How these women responded tell us something very important about their angelic meeting. There has always been fascination with what angels are and how to recognise them. These questions dominated medieval spiritual theology in the Western Church. One of the reasons is that during the years leading into the Middle Ages, Prominent Christian thinkers spent time being careful to explain exactly what an angel is. First was St. Augustine, who faced these questions head on. He said that there is a big difference between what an angel is and what an angel does. And it is precisely when a spiritual being is sent to deposit a message then it becomes an angel. The angels are spirits, he wrote. The angels are spirits. And when they are simply spirits, they are not angels. But when they are sent, they become angels. For angel is the name of a function, not of a nature. If you inquire about the nature of such beings, you will find that they are spirits. You ask what their office is. The One hundred years later, Pseudo Dionysius, a Syrian theologian, described the angels as existing. There were distinctions between these spiritual beings. They were not all the same. The first two groups of angels faced God. and I. Only humanity and our affairs. And Dionysius called these princes and angels. These are the angels of scripture 
and the Blessed Carlo and Saint Padre Pio. As such, our angels of popular tradition, that beings appear to human individuals. By the time the medieval period was nearing its end, angels routine the church, not only in how church buildings were decorated for worship, but in how the Eucharist was celebrated. 16th century England, it was not unusual to have a mechanical device installed within the sanctuary. And so at the time of the consecration, somebody had the job of turning a wheel, and this device angels to descend on the return to the group of women in the midst of the many questions that people have always asked about angels these women reveal something very important the angelic who stood beside them did Mary Magdalene and her companions think that the presence alongside them were men? It seems not to be the case because by the time the women report everything to the assembled believers, they already knew that they had encountered walking with the unrecognized risen Jesus Emmaus that evening, two disciples revealed who had reported seeing a vision of angels early in the morning had told them. Jesus was alive. The women at the tomb teach us that until the purpose of their presence is revealed. The giving of the message of life. Search for a companion in his journey Media. The book of Tobit tells the story of a faithful Israelite living in Nineveh in the A, even though the book itself was written around 200 years before the birth of Jesus. Tobias needs a traveling companion for his great journey. This new friend was the To meet Tobit, his father, Tobias introduced. 